Use to-do group headers as well as custom views to further organize your to-do items. Let's take a look. Right now we're viewing a job and specifically the to-dos tab within that job. You'll notice in my to-dos list, I have group headers that are housing my different to-do items. So we can add a new group header by clicking plus group at the bottom. Maybe I want to name this communications. Perfect. Click enter and now you can start entering in the to-do items that should be housed within that group. So I will say um, confirm customer appointments. And maybe there's another one where I need to verify availability of subs. Awesome. And just like anywhere else, you can always click on that to-do item and edit the details for each of those items. All right, now your group headers for your to-do items are available in your jobs to-do list, as well as the to-do list on your customer accounts and your vendor accounts. Now you can also leverage custom views to choose how you want to view your to-do items. So anytime you'd like to customize a view in JobTread, you're going to click on that gear icon that says View Settings. Here you can choose what type of to-do items you'd like to see on this list. You could also choose whether you want to see it on a list view or a month view. So let's choose a month view here, and then I'm going to choose different filters. So I'm going to choose the type of, let's say just office work. Great. And then I can also limit it to certain people's to-do items, and then I can choose whether I want to see completed and incomplete to-dos, or just incomplete or just complete. So we'll stick with the incomplete. And now I have the option to save or save as. Save is going to save and override this current view with those changes that you just made. Save as allows you to create a new view for yourself. So I'm gonna go ahead and call this office work to do's. Great, we'll click OK. And now you'll see that that saved Office Work To Do's view in my personal views list. If I wanted to share that view with others in my organization, I can click on the view, click the gear icon, and convert it to an organization view. This will allow others in my organization to see that view. And then when you're ready, you can choose your default view. So if you want your default to always be this view whenever you go into your jobs to-do list or your account to-do list, you're going to click on the star here and then you'll see any time that you come back to that to-do tab, you're going to see this by default. Let's take a look at what this looks like on more of a macro level by visiting our to-dos feature on our main navigation. All right, here in our to-dos feature, you'll see that your custom views do carry over to the organization level. So now I can see all of my office work to-dos across all my jobs and accounts in one place. Now, one view that you might want to consider creating is one that's more time-based. So let's go into my incomplete to-dos, and if I just want to see to-dos that are due this week, I can then create a view by clicking on View Settings, and now you'll see in the date range option, I can then choose just to do's for this week. Now also, I have different columns I can turn on or off in the list view. So if I want to make this just a very simple table, I can easily turn off several of the columns and make it just a very basic to-do list. Let's go ahead and turn those columns back on. Now, if you have your to-dos in groups at the job or the account level, you can also turn on the group column and that is going to show you any of the groups that those items are in. When you're ready, go ahead and hit save as and you could save that view as this week's to-dos. Perfect, we'll hit okay and now you'll see you have your personal list with this week's to-dos that you can always access. Now, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to contact your customer success manager or email support at jobtread.com.